Port forwarding with Duma OS 4 is incredibly simple. First thing we need to do is log into our router. Next, we'll turn on the device that we would like to port forward. For the vast majority of us, this is going to be a gaming console. However, there may be other situations where you need to port forward as well. You can follow along and it'll work out the same. Once we're logged in and our device is on, we need to check what ports need to be forwarded. You can do this by just looking up the name of the device you want to forward the ports to and just Google search it, in which case we're looking at Xbox. Now you'll see a huge list of ports that it says you would need to port forward to have open NAT. Most of these are useless. The only one for Xbox that you actually need is port 3074. When it comes to PlayStation, I don't know what the main port for open NAT is. If I ever get a PlayStation 5, I will test this and I'll make a separate video for that. But just follow along. You can go to PlayStation's website, find the ports, and one of them will be your open NAT port. The rest of them will open up other things on your network that are not necessary. You just want the open NAT. So we have the open NAT port, which is 3074 on UDP and TCP. We take that information and we head over to Duma OS, head over to settings, scroll down to UPnP. We wanna make sure this is off. So turn off UPnP if it is not already. This will go ahead and clear out all of your UPnP registers when you back out. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and create the port forward. So we head over to port forwarding and then we click add rule. When you click the add rule button, it's gonna pull up all the devices you have and if it's not there, you can enter the IP address of that device. My Xbox is currently online, so we're gonna go ahead and choose that. We're gonna get a little warning here. This IP address has not been reserved, so if it ever changes, your reservation will break, therefore you'll have strict NAT again, and you'll have to come in and change things. We wanna prevent that, so we're going to click the reserve this IP button. Once we do that, it's gonna say, hey, it's gonna reserve this IP to 192.168.77.119. Are you sure you want that? We're gonna say, we sure do. Save. And then that's gonna bring us back to our port forwarding rule. We wanna give this rule a name, so Xbox. Then we have some options here. We have uh, one port, so we can just do one port to one port, or we can do a port range. For the vast majority of us, we only need to open one port. So the source port is going to be 3074. And our destination port is going to be the exact same, 3074. And then via Xbox's description of what we should do, we need to open UDP and TCP. So make sure we also check the UDP button. Now through years of testing, you actually don't need TCP on Xbox. However, I do like having it on as there are some services that use it. So we have everything set. Now we click save. Once we've clicked save, we can head over to our Xbox and run a NAT test and the NAT will open up and this will say active. Anytime that you're using the port 3074, so you're actively in a game such as Call of Duty, this little indicator will flip back and forth between active and inactive as the port is being used. So that's it. It's really simple to do with Duma OS 4, and you can set up, of course, multiple port forwards for each one of your devices. If you have multiple Xboxes in the house, your main Xbox, the one that you use the most, Set that to 3074, and you can do that within the Xbox settings incredibly easy. You just head into network, advanced settings. You'll see at the bottom there, there's a choice for you to choose different ports. You want your main Xbox on 3074, but if you have other Xboxes in the household, you want to choose one of those ports and then refollow the exact steps we just went through for port forwarding here on the router and open that particular port for that particular Xbox. That way, every Xbox in the house has open NAT, not just your main one. 
If you run into other NAT issues while testing this, there is a possibility that that has to do with your geo filter. The geo filter is really, really awesome. However, if you have a area covered such as my area here, and there is not a NAT server in that area, and you just happen to be blocking it, well then you will still have a NAT issue when running a NAT test. So make sure that we come in here to, for this example, the Xbox, and make sure our filtering is disabled. Only if you run into NAT issues, come back and retest your Xbox to see if NAT opens. If it does, you can come back again to Duma OS, find the server that was outside of your range and report that to NetDuma. They will make sure that that server gets put on their list so that when you run NAT tests, it'll still be open. All right, everybody, hope that was helpful. Till the next time.